Fish keepers. We all look at our aquariums as a place to escape. It's something that brings us joy and relaxation. But some fish aren't that way. Some fish in this hobby are downright mean, and even though they are confined to a glass box, they can still make our lives quite miserable. I reached out to our channel members a few weeks ago and I asked them, hey, what do you think are the meanest fish in the aquarium hobby? We got some really good answers, so let's get right to it. We had quite a few fish that several members suggested as the meanest fish. So for those, we're gonna put them going across the bottom of the screen. You'll be able to see each comment. It would just take way too long to read all of them. But Paul McCarthy, Mainly Bettas, Lee Taylor, Gil the Goldfish, and Stephen LeBlanc all think the Dovi is the meanest fish. The Paracromus Dovi or wolf fish is one of those that takes a special fish keeper to keep this type of fish. Not because they're extraordinarily difficult to keep, but because they're really gonna be the only thing in the tank. Why? Because yes, these fish are definitely mean. It's their instinct. They just want to kill anything else that's in the aquarium with them. But they're gorgeous. They're beautiful fish. They get massive, so they make quite the statement but they're gonna make a statement on their own because they're so mean you can't put anything else in with them. You do have to have a large tank because Dovi can get up to three feet long. They're massive, one of the bigger cichlids, if not the biggest cichlid, I don't know, in the hobby. I think they might be the biggest. They are giants, they're goliaths. So you're not gonna put them in a 55 or a 75 or a 90. No, you need to have a big, big tank for them. So they are a huge commitment especially when you consider buying a 300 gallon aquarium for one fish. Audrey Bamberger, Cadence Aquatics, and Michael Griffiths all agree that betas are the meanest fish. So first off, I just wanna say, how dare you? I mean, that's my favorite fish. Really? But I'm gonna go ahead and add a few things to that. Betas can definitely be a very mean fish. If you put them in an environment that they can be a bully, then they can be a mean fish. But if you stick them in a tank all by themselves, preferably a five or 10 gallon tank, they're gonna be super sweet and they're gonna be happy and you're going to love your beta. Regina Sheik, I hope I'm pronouncing your name right, and Candace's Aquatics both said flower horns. Hmm. Yes, flower horns are another fish that you either love or hate because you're gonna look at them and say either that's the most beautiful thing I've ever seen or you look at them and say, huh? But either way, no matter how you think they look, they are definitely mean fish and they're another one just like others that we've talked about on this list that you're really gonna to have to dedicate an entire aquarium for this one individual fish. Now, we talked about Dovi earlier where they need a massive tank. Flower horns don't need as big a tank, but they still need to be in a pretty big tank and they need to be in that tank by themselves because they will kill whatever else is in the aquarium with them. And flower horn lovers would tell you, hey, it's not just that, it's if you put other fish in there with them, they could damage the the globe that they have on their head that just looks like something from outer space. Anyway, I'm not a flower horn hater, but I'm also not a flower horn lover. I'm just kind of like, ah, oh, whatever. I mean, they're neat. I'm not enamored by them like so many people are, but I, they're cool, they're neat, but I wouldn't go to an event that is specifically a flower horn event. But I understand we all have different tastes. Some people absolutely love them because of their uniqueness. That's all fine, but this video is about fish that are mean, flower horns are definitely mean. You definitely have to keep them in an aquarium by themselves. But if you're somebody that loves that big globe on their head, then you might be okay with that. Amy 
Nicholson says, angelfish. I had one that would bully other tank mates to death, especially large mystery snails. My current angelfish likes to splash me when I open the lid. And Rocco in Texas follows up saying he agrees that angelfish are the meanest fish. Well, in my experience, I have found that angelfish can be complete jerks if they're in a tank with other fish and they're breeding. You don't want to mess with the angelfish if they're breeding. Another thing I have found that is absolutely wrong to do when you have angelfish is have a tank with angelfish already in it, already established, and then drop a couple extra ones in there because you want different kinds. You're asking for trouble because those new angelfish are going to get bullied to death. Yes, angelfish can be complete jerks, but if you keep your tank set up correctly, they could be the focal point in your tank and the most beautiful fish you have ever owned. Sandy Remaker, HEPA Aquatics, and Fish Room Fever. Fish Room Fever says, piranhas for me, the only fish I've lost flesh to. Yeah, you got some TikTok fame from that, didn't you? Listen, piranhas are one of those fish that I have said in videos before. They just simply shouldn't be in the aquarium hobby. They're not a very attractive fish. They're not the most exciting fish to watch, but people love them. Why do people love them? They love them because they're mean and because they have this reputation of being mean. I have kept them in the past because I was young and before I had my first beer, I thought they were cool and they turned out to be one of the most boring fish that I've ever had in my life. And I sold them to somebody else because they just sat there and they didn't do anything. Yeah, they have cool teeth. That's a fish that's in the thumbnail, by the way. They have vampire looking teeth and they look menacing and they look horrible. And if you put them in a school, they will be menacing and horrible. Or if you put your hand in the tank like Fish from Fever did, but I don't know. This is, this is just one of those fish that I'm torn on because I don't find them to be all that attractive. They don't look like an ornamental fish. They just, they just look like a fish and they're really mean. And I don't know, it's just, no. They've made movies about these fish. They haven't made movies about Dovi or Red Devils, but they've made videos about piranhas. I think four or five of them by now. Piranha even chased Richard Pryor out of the lake. Yeah, piranhas, everybody knows that they're mean but they're also ugly, so they could go on the list of ugliest fish. But anyway, yeah, piranhas, I don't know. If you wanna get piranhas, ask yourself why. Why do you want that fish? And if your answer is because people will come over and think it's cool, don't get them. Because they're not cool, they're boring, they're not all that attractive, and you're gonna get sick of them pretty quick. on the list as well. Jan Bennett, Candy Overhauls, Jason C, and Lefty12345 all think that Mbunas are mean. Being someone that just absolutely loves Mbunas and I've had several tanks that I've been completely successful with, I have to say, there are a few that are jerks, no doubt. I would say that the Erratus and the Bumblebee are probably the ones that I found the most trouble with and I chose to just keep them out of my tank. I went along more with your, your Yellow Labs, your Snow Whites, your Red Blotch Zebras, your Polids. I could go on and on and on because there are so many beautiful Mbunas out there and you can keep a successful tank if you do it the right way. We have a lot of videos about it. You should go check them out. Jason C says, albino red top zebras, Lisa's already talked about in Bunas, and red devils are the most aggressive fish I've seen to date. Most of the pink or red cichlids are very aggressive. So I wanna tell you a personal story about a pair of red devils that I owned that gave Jason C. every reason in the world to believe that these fish are definitely living up to their name as being devils. These two red devils were absolutely stunning fish. I have videos of them on our channel. You gotta go all the way back to like, 
it was one of the first probably 20 videos that I did on this channel. These fish were spectacular. They were spectacles. They were gorgeous. And they left some fish alone while others did not do so well. It all started with an Oscar. Well, Lisa has talked about this in other videos, maybe even this one, I don't remember, but they thrashed our Oscar to near death. The side of that fish looked like it was filleted. It was horrifying. Lisa was able to save that fish and he lived another five or six years after that. So it was wonderful, but they annihilated that fish about that, that close to death if Lisa hadn't found them and stopped them. But then a guy comes into the shop, <clears throat> friend of the shop, and he says, hey, I got this Paku and I don't know what to do with him. He was in a five gallon bucket and the fish, I can't even explain, the fish could barely even fit in the five gallon bucket. We're talking about a huge Paku. This thing was giant. And I'm like, well, I don't know. What, what am I supposed to do? I can't put them in our little 20 gallon tanks and sell them to somebody. Nobody's gonna wanna buy a fish like that. And so I said, well, you know, I feel bad. I'll stick them in the 150. It's plenty big enough for a fish that size. And he's so big, the Red Devils, they wouldn't do anything to him. No way, he's twice their size, three times their size. Put him in there. We went home for the day and came back and that fish was no longer two times the size of the Red Devils. They had completely obliterated this Paku. And I'm not kidding you, this Paku was every bit of 18 to 20 inches round. It, I felt so bad. I just couldn't imagine that two fish that were a third the size of that Paku would have done that, but they did it and I learned my lesson and I sold those fish like two months later to somebody and they put them in a tank, just the two of them. They didn't care about ever having any tank mates with them and they were perfectly fine. Beautiful fish, but there's a reason why they're called devils. JDR Aquatics, Sean Damon, Kimberly Bryant, and Rocco in Texas all say that they think the meanest fish is an Oscar. Well, let me give you my opinion on Oscars. I've had an Oscar that was the victim of bullying from another fish. He was traumatized, he was picked on, poor thing, it took him months to get better, but he was able to recover. Sweetest Oscar I ever knew. But let me tell you another story. John has two Oscars, and I think they're complete ass. I can't stand those fish. They have picked on the arowanas. They're jerks. And I guess, in John's opinion, what he would tell me to do is to just go myself. So there you go. I hope we haven't made too many enemies today. We, Lisa and I both, I can speak for her here. We both love aquarium fish. We love them all. And even though some of them are mean or some of them are ugly, we love them all and they're awesome. Some of them we love more than others, but I hope we haven't offended too many people here. This is all just for fun. We're not trying to change anybody's opinions, but you may watch this and you didn't know red devils are mean but they're called devils. Or maybe you didn't know flower horns are mean. You just look at them as having that weird thing on their head and that's cool. So you want one, but not realize that they're horrible to other fish in their tank. Who knows? Hopefully you were able to learn something from this video and have a little bit of fun at the same time. If you did enjoy this video, do us the favor of clicking the like button and perhaps clicking the subscribe button and ring the bell, do all that stuff so that you get notifications when we put out more videos like this. We upload every single week. So you wanna have some fun with us, do that. But also if you wanna take that fun to another level, if you click the join button, which is right next to the subscribe button, consider becoming a member of the team and then you can participate in these videos that we do. We might read your comments in the next video, who knows? But anyway, thank you so much for watching. We'll see you next time. We won't be so mean next time.